Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. Today, we're breaking down a major move by Megan Thee Stallion as she takes legal action against YouTuber Milagro Grams. She's had enough of what she calls false statements and narratives surrounding her, especially when it comes to the Tory Lanez case. So let's dive into what led up to this lawsuit, why Megan's speaking out, and what all this could mean for both her and Milagro Grams. So let's start with the basics. Megan Thee Stallion filed a federal lawsuit on October 30th in Florida's Southern District Court against Milagro Grams, a YouTuber known for her commentary on the Tory Lanez case. Megan's suit claims Grams' statements online have had a damaging impact on her mental health, reputation, and even her finances. But here's where it gets even more intense. The lawsuit accuses Grams of sharing and promoting deepfake content of Megan. For those who don't know, a deepfake is a digitally altered video designed to look real. In this case, Megan's claiming Grams encouraged her followers to watch a deepfake video of her in a sexual context, which would understandably have a huge emotional and reputational impact. Beyond that, Megan's lawsuit digs even deeper, alleging that Grams has essentially cyber stalked her, contributed to severe emotional distress, and invaded her privacy. There's also a charge of false light, meaning Grams has allegedly spread information about Megan that the average person would find highly objectionable. And here's the kicker. Megan's legal team says Grams has a conspiratorial relationship with Tory Lanez, claiming she acts as his paid surrogate. According to the suit, this role involves spreading misinformation to churn out falsehoods about Megan. Tory Lanez, who's currently serving a 10-year sentence for the 2020 shooting incident, continues to be at the center of this story due to his alleged ties with Grams' statements. Megan's not holding back either. She recently spoke to Billboard about the lawsuit, stating that she's endured countless attacks on her character from online bloggers posing as journalists. Megan wants this lawsuit to set a precedent that spreading falsehoods and defamation will come with consequences. But Grams has had some fiery responses too. On her social media, she posted, countersuit gone, go crazy, and sarcastically commented on the paid surrogate claim, saying, I didn't went from being ignored to an alleged employee. Damn y'all taking me too fast. Clearly, Grams isn't backing down. And this could be setting up a battle that will keep fans and media glued to their screens. This lawsuit illustrates a growing concern about the impact of online commentary on public figures' mental health and careers. Megan has voiced how constant scrutiny and falsehoods have affected her emotionally. And she's speaking up not just for herself, but for all public figures dealing with similar issues. The rapper has a massive following. And her taking this step could raise awareness about the responsibility of online personalities to report accurately and respectfully. Meanwhile, on the professional side, Megan recently made headlines with her new single, Bigger in Texas, where she's joined by Houston legends, Paul Wall, Scarface, and Slim Thug. Her determination to focus on her career while facing these personal challenges speaks volumes about her resilience. So there you have it. Megan Thee Stallion is taking a stand against what she sees as harmful, defamatory content online. And she's showing that she won't back down from fighting for her name. Whether you're a fan or not, this case sheds light on the larger issue of misinformation in the digital age and the potential fallout for both celebrities and influencers. If you found this breakdown helpful, give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button for more deep dives into the latest celebrity news and let us know in the comments. Do you think Megan's lawsuit will make a difference in how online commentary is handled? Thanks for watching the Red Carpet Reup, and we'll see you in the next video.